Well, it seems you all now know what I've been working on. That's pretty cool. Also, we hit 3k subs recently. That's incredible. I love you all, and I really hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much. Shift in the Master's Pen, a fan game crossing Bendy in the Ink Machine over into Dark Deception. This is a passion project I've wanted to make forever, and now I finally get to. For this game, I'd love to do video devlogs, totally not inspired by anyone in particular, to follow its development. I imagine all of you watching have a lot of questions, and I have some answers. I'll get to those in a bit, but firstly, I want to document my journey so far. One night in November, something just clicked in my head, and I wanted to finally learn to make proper games specifically in Unreal Engine. Sure, I had some experience in Unity, but... Uh, yeah. Unreal seemed like a good fit. I've already been using it to mod for nearly two years, and blueprint scripting looked pretty cool, so what was I waiting for? Also, the Meatly kind of lifted a lot of the restrictions on Bendy fan games around that time. Not gonna lie, that was kind of the main motivation for this project. The following day onward, I dedicate some of my free time whenever possible to learning Unreal Engine. People seriously underestimate the value of YouTube tutorials. I literally know everything I've learned about Unreal thanks to those. Can't say Google didn't help either. I want to say two weeks after making good strides in rudimentary games and various tests, I was ready. My then unnamed Bendy and DD fan game had finally started development. Over the weeks, stuff was coming together, and yes, I used ripped Bendy and Eek machine assets. I'm a full-time college student with responsibilities outside of the internet. Please just let me have this one. Come, I want to say early December, I realized something. Smack and Pie, one of the most famous YouTubers in the Dark Deception space, was hosting his annual awards show for Mascot Horror that month. These celebrations have previously housed trailers for upcoming projects in the community. My game was coming along somewhat smoothly, and you know where this is going. I now had a plan to reveal my newest endeavor, and I knew it was the perfect opportunity. The timing was ideal, and it would be one hell of an unveiling for a project of mine. I created a list of everything I felt I would need implemented for a reveal trailer. From an early point, I knew what I wanted, and saw the deadline of December 20th as very doable. I began work on laying out a level purely for the trailer, essentially just a maze with various props laid out everywhere. Progress kept going well, and I actually got the trailer done a few days in advance. Smack was super kind in private, and fortunately really liked the trailer, thank god. It had a spot in the show, which was apparently getting super packed. My plan after this point was to continue working on the game, adding more features, but uh, something kinda came up and halted my plans. I kid you not, I did not touch this project for a week because Vince Shadow dropped the Poppy DLC for Eminem. I'm sorry, priorities kind of shifted for a bit, but we're all good now. In the lead up to the awards event, Smack teased some of the trailers and, oh my god, that's my game, that's my game! Yo, I made that, oh my god, that is so cool. You better not show the scene with the shards or I will be so mad. And that's where we are today. After the trailer, I made the game page public and was finally able to be somewhat open about the project. I alluded a bit that I was working on something to friends and members of my server, but never showed anything or said much. But that changes now. After gathering some questions from Twitter and Discord, here's some new information. How many chapters are you planning, and how long will each chapter be? I want to get this question out of the way first, since establishing the expectations for any project in my opinion is key. Shift in the Master's Pen will have five chapters. Each chapter will have one level, and every level will have one zone. To simplify, five total chapters, five total levels, and five total zones. And as some of you already know, each chapter is being released one at a time, and the first one of five will be released in 2024. Oh hey, that's this year. What is the scope of this fan game, and how would you compare it to others like Animatronic Atrocity? Much of the scope is defined through the aforementioned five of everything, but in short, the scope is on the smaller scale. Since this is my first fan game, and to be frank, my first fully fledged game period, I opted for a reduced scope when planning. With this direction, I'm focusing a lot more on gameplay and functionality, and compared to the behemoth that Animatronic Atrocity is slated to be upon its completion, this game is definitely smaller. Can we get some info on the powers? Are they brand new? Several people ask questions relating to the power, so I'm lumping them all into this section. The first power is kind of obvious, you actually see it in use earlier in the trailer, but the second one? Yeah, you're gonna have to wait a bit on that one. Your hint is this. Flow is a power of those on the demon side, as shown in Dark Revival. The other power in my game relates to angels. Are the Reveal Shard and Stun Orb earned the same way? A specific question I will award with a specific answer. They will likely act the same way they do in Dark Deception. Just simple power-ups you can collect once per zone with their own cooldowns. What inspired you to create your own fan game? I've always had an interest in making games, and this isn't my first. 
It's just my first proper one, and I feel a fan game is a great place to start. Foundations are already in place, and I can focus more on the actual experience I want to provide. Plus, seeing so many Dark Deception fan games naturally gave me a lot of inspiration, and helped me brainstorm ideas. I wanted to make a Bendy XDD game, because if Vince can't get the license for Eminem, then damn it, I'll do the crossover myself. These games deserve to be paired together, it's literally the perfect blend. And yes, I am more than aware that I am not breaking new ground here. Not even close. But I have a vision I'm eager to bring to life. I also want to make this clear since it sort of relates, but Shift in the Master's Pen is specifically a Bendy and the Ink Machine X Dark Deception fan game. That doesn't mean concepts from the rest of the Bendy franchise are strictly prohibited or anything, they just aren't the focal point here. Lastly, when did you officially start development? I only started in early November when I first became committed to the idea. In fact, the first part of the video kind of goes over the development timeline for those who skipped it. But Master's Pen is a project I've had floating around in my head, among others, for ages. It was always just an idea before this, nothing more. I decided to change that, and I'm very glad I did. That's all the questions I got sent to me. Moving forward, expect a specific devlog for each of the five levels. I know this one wasn't very technical and more informational, but that will change moving forward as actual development progresses. For the best chances of seeing everything on this game as soon as possible, you know the deal. Subscribing to the channel along with following my Twitter and Game Jolt page are your best bet. Additionally, there's a channel specifically for this project in my Discord server. I can't promise how active I or it will be, but I would like to use that space as a way to get feedback and interact with any fans. Hopefully I see you there. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye bye. Thank you.